All right, so obviously I am very, very late and I do apologize for that, but in my defense, I've been running around outside for work basically uh, since I woke up and I haven't had a chance at all to check out the details or animations for the upcoming Dokkan Vest and Goku and Trunks as well as the side unit which is a Trunks and Giru. So in this video, we're gonna do that together. Uh, I'm guessing that a lot of you guys have already seen the animations and seen what they do in another video or on Twitter or something like that. But just in case you haven't, then keep watching. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's jump into it. So uh, this is, of course, the Dokkan Fest unit, the Pan, Goku, and Trunks. And if this preview looks absolutely insane to you, don't worry about it. It's all going to make sense in a second. And we also have uh, this Trunks and Giru, which is the side unit, and they are also really, really good. So uh, yeah, let's start with the animations first, and then we will jump into the details. So I'm going to pause my music here. Okay, and this is going to be my first time watching the animations. So this will be my genuine live reaction. I'm excited. So, here we go. <laughs> well damn okay um i did not expect super saiyan 4 goku to make an appearance i gotta be honest so that was a big surprise and you know a very welcome one because uh they needed something to make this unit more desirable i guess for the mass player base but um, I gotta say guys, I really like her animations. I really, really do. And obviously they're like not hype in the traditional sense, right? They're not like super flashy or anything, but they're very, uh, what's the right word? Um, wholesome, I guess, nostalgic. I don't know, like something about the music and, you know, all the different like unit um, super attack combinations just makes you feel nice, you know, so <laughs> it's a it's a very wholesome unit, man. It's a very wholesome unit, as you would expect from a pan, um, but I didn't expect them to do something like this where, like, we have all these partner unit super attacks, depending on, you know, which character we have on the rotation, and uh, it's awesome. It's really, really cool. Now, the only question I have is like, what if you have multiple characters, you know, from like the different unit super attacks on the same rotation, then which one, you know, is gonna play? Like, which one's gonna take precedent over the other? I'm not really sure about that, but 
um, overall, I mean, they did a great job with like what they had. I think as far as Pan goes, this is as good as it gets in my opinion. So, uh, kudos to Akatsuki, kudos to Bandai, good job, and the Super Saiyan 4 appearance cameo is uh very much welcome so <laughs> that is or those are the animations for the pan and also the trunks and giru who look fine and now let's take a look at these details so i'm gonna disappear for a second so i don't block anything and obviously a big big shout out and thank you to goresh for the translations so we have uh pan gt so i guess it's just pan yeah, so let me just quickly take a look at the um, card here on the JP Twitter, because... Okay, so I was under the impression that it was actually Pan, Goku, and Trunks in the name, but no, it's not like a joint forces unit, it's actually just Pan. So it's Pan GT, Drive to Take Down Evil, Leader Skill is Bond of Friendship, makes sense, or Dragon Ball Seekers, makes sense, Categories, Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%, and Characters who are also in the GT Heroes category, gains an additional HP, Attack and Defense plus 30% for a total of 200% HP, Attack and Defense. And then her main super attack, or her uh, solo super attack I guess, is Maiden Blast, it raises attack and causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. And then she has three unit super attacks, which you guys saw in the uh, animations, right? So the first one is Union Shot, and this is with Trunks. And uh, it says, greatly raises attack. So instead of raising attack, it's greatly raising attack with every super. Immense damage with a high chance to stun. And uh, it can be launched when there's an ally whose name includes Trunks GT. And then the second unit super attack is with Hiru. Dangerous combination, greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun. So same effect, and it can be launched when there is a, a ally whose name includes Giru. And then unit super attack 3 is the one with uh, Goku, right? Greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a great chance to stun Katsu Bowl, Tempura Bowl, Oyako, Oyako, man I can't pronounce this, Oyako Bowl and uh, can be launched when there is an ally whose name includes Goku GT. So once again, not exactly sure how it's gonna work if you have multiple of these characters in the same, uh, is it team or rotation? Maybe it's just the team, but either way, yeah, how does that work? Maybe it's like they'll play the Goku one as like the main one if you have multiple and then otherwise, there must be like some kind of order to like which one takes precedent over the other, right? Gotta be something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, it's really cool that she has multiple super attacks like this. And then we have her passive, which is because I'm really strong. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking, gains key plus 2, and an additional attack plus 50%. And damage reduction of 50% until launching an attack while in the first slot in a rotation. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 20% per attack performed. Max of attack and defense plus 100%. And then performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack. If there is a GT Heroes category ally attacking the same turn whose name includes Goku, uh, Tutor Excluded, Trunks, or Giru. Okay, so, um, first things first, she gets a stupid amount of attack and defense, man. She's getting a massive, massive boost, um, 150% to start, and then you get attack and defense plus 50% more when attacking, and then you get key plus 2 and attack plus 50% uh, while in the first slot, but then there's also this unique aspect, which I don't think any other unit has in the game. I think this is the first unit that has a mechanic like this, so... Before she attacks in the first slot, she gets 50% damage reduction. Of course, this is to uh, get around the, the, the issue of like, you know, units taking a lot of damage in the first slot before they get to attack, right? So for example, a unit that gets like most of their attack and defense after they super or on their super uh, might be a really bad slot one unit. But this unit does not have that issue. I mean, honestly, like she 
is getting a good amount of attack and defense anyways, or defense anyways, before she attacks with the 150% uh, here. But, um, of course, having more defense is always good, because she does get a lot more defense on the super attack or on her attack, so getting this 50% damage reduction in the first slot before she attacks is going to be really helpful. I think that's really cool. I like that. Um, I would have liked it to be just like 50% damage reduction in the first slot, but maybe that would have been too much. So it seems like she will lose the 50% damage reduction after she attacks. But once again, it's going to help her a lot as a slot 1 unit. So I think it's okay. And then she gains up to 100% more attack and defense after 5 attacks, which you know, won't take long because she gets the additional attack with a high chance of becoming a super attack if you have a GT Heroes Goku, Trunks, or Giru um, on the same turn, which, uh, you know, for the most part you will because uh, she's basically going to be, I mean, not exclusive, but like her best team will probably be a GT Heroes team, so most of the time you should have one of these units on uh, rotation, right? So... Um, yeah, she is a monster. <laughs> this, I mean, to be expected, right? Pan, we knew was going to be insane because it's Pan, right? And, like, they got to make her really good to incentivize people to summon. So I'm not really surprised at all that her passive is uh, quite busted. And then her active skill is Trump Card Kamehameha, able to be used when five or more attacks have been launched. And there is a GT Heroes category ally attacking in the same turn whose name includes Goku. Junior excluded once only. And the ability is greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage and gains a 59% chance to perform a critical hit during the turn of activation. Not bad. And her links are Kamehameha, Innocence, All the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT Fierce Battle, and categories are Bond of Friendship. Dragon Ball Seekers, GT Heroes, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Time Travelers, or sorry, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, Bond of Parent and Child, and Kamehameha. Okay, so, uh, I've been spending a lot of time on this pan. I don't want to be, you know, making this video too long, but my overall thoughts are just, uh, this is a really cool unit. It's a really, really cool unit. Um, three unit super attacks, four different super attacks. In total, uh, the active skill is amazing as far as the animation goes and the effect is pretty good too and it's not that hard to get and her passive is really strong like really really powerful um and i do really like the fact that she's going to be amazing as a slot one defender so before she attacks she gets the 50 percent damage reduction after she attacks she's getting a good amount of defense so she should be okay and uh yeah i mean i'm not gonna say like she's the best unit in the game now or anything like that, at least on paper, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be like the best unit in the game. But she's gonna be like one of the top units in the game, or at, at least one of the top TURs in the game, easily. Uh, I gotta see some showcases, I gotta see some, you know, numbers, some calculations, but... Uh, I think it's pretty plain to see that she's gonna be really, really strong. Like her passive says, because I'm really strong, right? So... Uh, yeah, there you go. That is the pan. Let's quickly pop over to the uh, Trunks and Giru. So, uh, leader skill is Bond of Friendship, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers defense. And then passive is changes AGL and tech uh, key spheres to int key spheres. So, they're changing two types of key spheres. And then attack and defense plus 120%. Bond of Friendship, GT Heroes, and Dragon Ball Seekers category allies gain key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20%. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 120% when collecting 3 or more key spheres. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 120% and all enemies attack minus 20% when collecting 5 or more key spheres. All allies key plus 2 and attack and defense and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% when collecting 7 or more key spheres. So to me, this is kind of uh, reminiscent of the uh, Texan Shenron, who is very, very good. And I'm not saying that this is like exactly the same, but they kind of work similarly where like there are a lot of additional boosts for X amount of key spheres collected. 
And um, because this unit is changing two types of key spheres into int key spheres, uh, it's going to be really easy to get the seven or more key spheres. I mean, anybody that has used the uh, Fizz Virus knows that, yeah, it's not going to be an issue at all to get seven key spheres, sometimes 10 plus, right? So um, you should be getting their full passive pretty easily, pretty regularly. And uh, they're essentially the best support for, I guess, a GT Heroes team or a bot of friendship or some combination of those categories with the pan. So, um, yeah, really good support that can also hold their own offensively and defensively. That's what I like to see. And uh, links are Speedy Retribution, Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Solid Support, GT, Courage, Fierce Battle, and categories are Bond of Friendship, Joined Forces, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Space Traveling Warriors, and GT Heroes. So, there you go, guys. Those are the upcoming units for uh, JP, the Dokkan Festival exclusive pan. Not something that I expected or saw coming, but um, as, you know we uh, anticipated, or as we speculated, uh, she's really good. And this side unit, Trunks and Giru, is also really good. So I'm really not upset about it. I'm actually very happy with uh, how especially the pan turned out. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the uh, new units, especially the pan. I really want to see... Um, people's thoughts or hear people's thoughts about uh, you know the Dokkan Fest pan man are you gonna be summoning are you convinced you know at this point after seeing the animations after seeing the kit that she's worth your stones or are you just not gonna summon because no matter what it's still pan at the end of the day let me know guys that's all I gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out